Hi friend, let's take a look on ultra wide screen versus regular size screen for programming. This one is 24 inch 4K monitor and that one is 49 inch ultra wide Dell monitor. Weather today outside is horrible, so we can stay inside and take a look on all the monitors. Okay, now everything is set up and working. I'm using uh, this hub to connect all the screens. This is not sponsored video, just showing... Uh, probably someone will ask what I'm using. This one hub was kindly sent to me by Bazos and it works fine. I have external SSD connected, one more external hard drive connected here, 49 inch screen, 24 inch 4K screen, Everything works fine, do not see any problems. I tried to use this setup already for half a day and yeah, that works fine. All the screens are in max resolution, that is how I used those and how I used this screen for two and more on, uh, or even a little bit more years. So let's take a look on how I am using those screens. I already opened a few applications on them. Basically that is how I use those screens day to day. Let's take a look how those applications fit the screen. So let's start with 16 inch. As you may see, I have opened Xcode in full screen here. In this configuration, it works fine. If I would like to open browser next to the Xcode, that will take quite a lot of space, still usable, but not perfect. But yeah, if you are working with single application at the time, it works perfectly. Uh, let's switch to the next screen. On 24 inch screen, we have way more space. We have comfortably work with two tabs of the Xcode. Also, we can open some documentation, but text is already a little bit too small. Of course, I can make it bigger in the Xcode. And then it is comfortable to work, but all of menu items are very small and I saw very few people who enjoy to work on 24 inch 4K screen in full resolution. Usually 27 inch is better choice. So it works fine, but if I would like to have, for example, simulator as well on the screen, I have to find place for that. And yeah, that was a, a little bit annoying and also small text. That is why I was looking for bigger screen. And that leads us to the next 49 inch screen. Let's take a look how I'm working on that one as well. So 49 inch Dell monitor. Vertical resolution for this monitor is quite small, 1440. And uh, horizontal resolution is basically 5K, 5120. So it's very wide, but not so high monitor. As you may see in, for example, in Xcode, we have less space for the code, the same for browser. We have less text here. On the 4K screen, we had way more text uh, on the screen, but text is more readable for my eye. I, I like how it looks like. And by the size, this monitor is like two 27-inch QHD monitors. So if you ever saw 27-inch QHD monitor, basically this will look like two of them side by side, but without a bezel in the middle. Why I prefer this monitor instead of two monitors, so I don't have this bezel in the middle and I can use this middle of the monitor for most important thing what I'm working on and usually that is Xcode for me. Basically that is how I am working on this monitor. I have Xcode in the middle and secondary information on the sides. Usually that is browser with some, I don't know, documentation, tasks in Pivotal Tracker or GitHub and so on. I have simulator right here and uh, to my right I have Tower for example or um, Slack for chats with teammates and so on. That is my secondary information. So that's how it fits the screen. Usually when I am working I am making this Xcode screen even a little bit bigger and that is how I prefer to work. To have about the same space for work but with better pixel density and with more pixels, two 
27 inch 4K monitors could be the great choice if you like to work with two different monitors. I tested two monitor setup and I didn't like that because you have one monitor on the front of you. To work comfortably you have to keep one on front of you and next one is somewhere on the side and it's all the time I have to move my, my head to see both of them. With this setup I can keep my workspace in the middle of the screen and I prefer this configuration and secondary information on the side. Resolution for me is good enough. For programming and productivity work it is fine. I can read everything clear. Yes, pixel density is not so good like on 4K screens. You will be able to see pixels definitely if you will clo look close enough. I suggest to take a look on QHD monitor to see do you like it. If you hate those QHD monitors with small uh, vertical resolution, you will hate this monitor as well. My first impression was meh, but uh, after a few weeks of using I really, really started to like this monitor. Even on first day I was thinking that I will switch back to 4K screen. And currently, yeah, I, I would buy this monitor once more again. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but two 4K 27 inch monitors, good one monitors will cost about the same. So I will put all the model names and links uh, in description below because model names as always for monitors are horrible, hard to remember and almost imp impossible to pronounce. Uh, what are benefits from two screen setup? In my opinion, with two monitor setup you may open for example tutorial on one screen, open it in full screen mode to, to see it comfortably and work in Xcode or other <laughs> development environment on a, another screen. Yes, that definitely is benefit for two screens, but in such cases I am using my laptop as second screen and it works fine and no, as I see that this USB hub can handle and Mac, 16 inch Mac, are able to handle all this amount of screens. I am already thinking that I could mount this 4K screen on the top of 49 inch screen and uh, yeah, that could be quite a nice uh, setup to work on. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe it is too much. Let me know what do you think. Will it be cool or that will be too much distractions? I also added an iPad to the setup as one more screen and Mac was able to handle that as well without problems. I have 16 inch base model Mac. I have video with uh, this Mac review as well. Check it out now or later if you are interested by using base model. Yeah. Okay, that is about it. If you have any additional questions, Comments are down below like button, <laughs> feel free to ask anything, I will try to answer all of those and thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Do not uh, forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Bye.